right, well, welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a quick overview look at the MIDI editor window as we continue our tour of some of the windows you're going to be using as you work in Pro Tools. So now we're looking at the edit window, which we looked at in the first lesson in this series. When you record MIDI tracks, the MIDI data can be displayed in the edit window. In fact, up until Pro Tools 8, this was the primary way that you would edit MIDI information. You can see that in the edit window, we have at least two ways we can look at the MIDI information. We have notes view and we have regions view. They're both displaying the same information just in different ways. And you would pick and choose these depending on where you happen to be in your workflow and how you prefer to work. But in Pro Tools 8, they added the MIDI editor window. And the MIDI editor window gives you a ton of very cool, very useful features when it comes to editing MIDI. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can access the MIDI editor window and give you a quick little idea of why it's so useful. Okay, so the first way we can call up the MIDI editor is simply by going up to Window and selecting MIDI editor. So there it is. This is the MIDI editor. Now... Before I continue, let me explain one thing. I have just quickly created two short two-bar MIDI instrument tracks with some MIDI information on it. So I'm just going to play that so you know what I'm playing with here. Okay, so there's two tracks. One is a little synth, and one is just a couple piano notes. Now... In the MIDI editor, what we can do that we couldn't do before the MIDI editor is we can look at multiple MIDI tracks in one note view. We can look at this MIDI notes pane here, and we are seeing right here the piano notes, but right in the same lane, we're seeing the synth. You notice when I click on those notes, we're hearing the synth. Now, the MIDI editor gives you the ability to click on this button here and make it easy to determine which MIDI instrument I'm looking at. So in this case, one of them is green, one of them is red. So it makes it very easy, and yet it gives me the benefit of being able to look at both of these note performances side by side and work with them together. I can also change the MIDI editor to a velocity-based color scheme. So the lighter the color, if we look at this little light note here, this one is a lower velocity. If I adjust the velocity of that note, you'll see the color will get even lighter. If I make the velocity very hard, the color goes darker. So that's a second way that we can look at the note display in the MIDI editor. And thirdly, we can just disable these color schemes and just look at the default MIDI note color scheme and you do see the shading to reflect the different velocities. So let's just switch it back to this. Now, in addition to the notes pane up here as it's called, we also have lanes down here for controlling either MIDI velocity or MIDI continuous controllers. The MIDI editor also allows you to view automation data for auxiliary tracks. So when it comes to editing MIDI or automation data or real-time controller data, there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. The MIDI editor is super powerful. Now, before I finish this video, let me also point out that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you two ways you can access the MIDI editor. We looked at one of them, which is to go up to the window menu and simply call up MIDI editor. But I'm going to hide this for now. And I'm going to go back to the edit window. Now, in the edit window, you can actually access a stationary version of the MIDI editor window called the MIDI editor view. And you do that by clicking on this little button right here. And you see that now I have the same thing I was just looking at, the MIDI editor window, but now it's attached to the bottom of my edit window. So I can still scroll and navigate in the edit window and I can deal separately with the MIDI editor portion of the window. And I have it all in front of me, really convenient and really fast when it comes to editing 
sessions with lots of MIDI information without forfeiting being able to look at the audio in your edit window at the same time. But for now, let's just leave it at that. Let's just sum up. We've got the MIDI editor view, which we can access from within the edit window by clicking here. Or we could also go up to view and go other displays and select MIDI editor. And it will display the same thing in the edit window. Or we can close that and go up to window and select the full-blown MIDI editor. So again, this has tons of features, tons of capabilities, which we'll cover in future videos. But for now, that is the MIDI editor window. In the next video, we'll look at the score editor. Mm -hmm.